Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I am super excited about today's incredible dinner recipe and this one is actually out of my newest cookbook, Beyond Borscht. Today I'm going to show you how you guys how to make a salmon kulubiaka. This incredible Russian seafood dish actually dates back to 1850 and it's the salmon version of a beef wellington. You guys are going to love it. We're going to season the salmon with an herbed lemon butter and then layer it with eggs and mushroom rice, wrap it up in puff pastry and serve it with a zesty lemon sauce. Sauce. It's so, so delicious. This incredible dish is traditionally reserved for New Year's, holidays, or special occasions, but in my opinion, you can enjoy it any time of the year because it's so, so good. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this classic dish. I'm going to get started with the herbed lemon butter that we're going to use for seasoning the salmon. I'm going to drop in half a cup of softened butter into my mixing bowl here and just kind of flatten it out with my spatula. Next, I'm going to add the zest of two large lemons, and today I'm using these Meyer lemons, which are going to add so much incredible flavor. Next, I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of fresh dill. And then I'll use a spatula to combine everything together. And this butter already smells so good. I absolutely love that lemon zest with, combined with the fresh dill. And for today's recipe, I'm going to be using two pounds of wild caught salmon. I have removed the skin, removed the bones, and I've trimmed down the sides of it so the salmon fillet isn't too wide. It's a little bit more narrow and it'll fit inside the puff pastry a little bit better. But don't discard the scraps. We're also going to add those onto the inside. And now we're going to season it with this incredible herbed lemon butter. It's going to add in so much incredible flavor. You wanna grab a spatula and or you just use your hands and season the fillet all over. And my grocery store didn't have large full fillets of salmon, so I had to get two pieces, but that's not a problem. Uh, once they're fitted inside the puff pastry, nobody will even notice. And now that I have my salmon seasoned and ready to go, let's talk about the other ingredients we'll be using today. So I have three sheets of frozen puff pastry. I let this thaw in the refrigerator overnight. Next, I have four large hard boiled eggs. And I also prepared one portion of my easy mushroom rice. I have a separate video for that. I'll include it down in the video description box below. This is very similar to what I have in the cookbook, just slightly different. Both versions will work really well for this dish. And now let's put it together. And I'm going to begin assembly by rolling out my puff pastry. I'm actually going to fold the sheet in half because I don't need it to be that wide. I'm going to roll it out long enough to fit the salmon lengthwise and then leave at least an inch on each side. Next, I'm going to add on my rice. And you want to create like a little bed of rice that's going to sit underneath the salmon. Try not to leave any rice out on the sides because we're going to seal um, this puff pastry with the next layer and you don't want anything to kind of fall in between which will prevent uh, it from sealing properly. Next, I'm going to add my salmon. I've sliced my hard boiled eggs and I'm going to layer them on top. And now I'm ready to add the rest of my rice. So with the top layer of rice, you kind of want to dome it over the top of the salmon. Just drop it on top and then use your hands to kind of mold it. And don't worry if that rice is falling uh, down the sides, we will clean that up later. 
And now I'm going to roll out the second sheet of puff pastry. This one I want to be the same length, but it's gonna be a little bit wider because it needs to cover all of those delicious fillings that we have layered. And before I add that second layer of puff pastry, I'm going to uh, brush on some egg wash. So just grab an egg, add just a tiny bit of water, beat it really nicely, and then use that. And this is gonna help seal the two layers together. I'm going to go around the edges and press the two layers together. Want to make sure that that filling is really nicely sealed on the inside. When you guys are making this at home, don't make the same mistake that I just did. I started assembling uh, the colibiaca on the countertop instead of in the baking dish. So you actually want to use a baking sheet, line it with parchment paper or a silicone mat like I'm using today and assemble it directly on there since it's really hard to kind of like transfer it over. I was able to do it with minimal damage, but still, when you guys are making this at home, assemble it on the pan. And disaster averted, I am working on the third and final layer of puff pastry. So you wanna roll it out. You want it to be large enough to fit over the entire top. And this third and final piece of puff pastry is actually going to be the garnish on top. So I'm going to grab a small paring knife and make slits in the dough. And then when we transfer it over, you'll see how pretty it looks on the top. You wanna very gently lift and transfer the decorative piece of puff pastry onto the top. And then just kind of pull it to yourself to reveal the little design on the top. I'm going to go around the edges with my fork one more time and seal that final layer in place as well. And then we'll go around the edges and trim off this excess dough as well. I'm going to grab a knife and go around the edges. I'm going to leave about half an inch border. I'm going to grab my egg wash one more time and really brush it generously over the top and the sides. This is going to give the pastry a really beautiful golden color. And this salmon pastry is ready to go into my preheated oven. I've set mine to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to bake for about 45 to 50 minutes until it's a rich golden brown color on the outside. Once it's done baking, take it out of the oven and let it cool for a good 20 minutes before you start slicing into it. And while my salmon is baking in the oven, I'm going to make an easy lemon juice and white wine sauce. I'm placing half a cup of butter into my saucepan here. I'm just gonna let that melt. To my melted butter, I'm going to add in one diced shallot. And I'm going to let that shallot cook in the melted butter over medium low heat for about four to five minutes. I don't want it to brown, I just want it to soften. Next, I'll pour in half a cup of white wine and a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Season this with a little bit of salt and I'm just gonna let this come up to simmer. And I'll let it cook for about four to five minutes, allowing some of the alcohol in the wine to reduce. And after the sauce is cooked down, I'm going to add in some freshly chopped dill, some parsley, stir that in, and this sauce is ready to go. It's gonna be such a great complement to the salmon. And how incredibly beautiful and stunning is this salmon colibac. I absolutely love this golden color on the puff pastry. I took it out maybe about half an hour ago and I can't wait to dig in. I'm just gonna transfer it over to my tray here. And then to transfer it over, I'm just going to slide a few spatulas on either side of it. And then gently but quickly lift this up and transfer it over. And then for enjoying this stunning dish, I'm going to use a sharp serrated knife and start at one edge. Oh, that puff pastry is so crispy. You could probably hear it on the video. The 
Doesn't that look incredible? You have that gorgeous salmon on the inside with the rice and the eggs. This is going to taste so, so good. And then when you're serving this, you wanna pour some of that lemon and white wine shallot sauce over the top. Oh, this is going to be so incredibly delicious. I also like to squeeze a little bit of fresh lemon juice on the top. Perfection, this is ready to be enjoyed. And that is it guys for my salmon culibiaca recipe. I absolutely love how it turned out. It could not be more perfect with this golden pastry and then those stunning layers on the inside. Can't wait to dig in and enjoy. Don't forget to head on down in the video description box for the full recipe. I'll have everything up on my website. And if you wanna pick up a copy of my uh, newly released cookbook, Beyond Borsch, it is available on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles. You can even get it online at Target and Walmart. I'll leave some links down in the video description box as well. All right time to dig in I just love how it looks like on the inside with the layers add a little bit of sauce on there as well going to get some of the salmon and the rice looks so good already mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. you guys are gonna be blown away with this dish it is so incredibly delicious the flavors the textures the aroma everything combined together is like a heavenly symphony in your mouth you have that tender flaky salmon surrounded by that delicious mushroom rice the hard-boiled eggs the crispy puff pastry what really brings out all the flavors is that lemon and white wine sauce it is a must it is so incredibly delicious really uh, balances out the richness of the dish gives a little nice zesty lemony edge if you love sauce I recommend doubling that recipe so you have lots and lots of it to enjoy. I hope you guys enjoy this classic Russian dish at home for your next special occasion. I love this for birthdays and holidays like New Year's and Christmas. It's such a great dish and it's going to really, really impress your guests. Don't forget to head on down in the video description box for the recipe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.